After seeing this outro in last week's video, a few people reached out to me asking if there was a free way in Filmora to create videos that had picture frames. To that question I actually replied, absolutely. And today, I'm going to show you a few simple ways to achieve a similar effect in Filmora. So if you're ready, let's get started. But first, let's head on over to Pexels.com, a website that has tons of free assets for creators alike without fear of worrying about copyright strikes. Change our orientation to widescreen so we can get rid of the portrait videos. And we're simply searching for graduation pictures here. But feel free to use your own images or to come to a website such as Pexels and search to your heart's content for whatever theme you may need. Next, we're gonna need a background. So we're gonna search for firewood. And here we're looking for one that doesn't overpower the scene like this first one here. So we're gonna grab this second one as it's a little bit less invasive. And once we download that, let's head on over to the lab. So now that we're inside for more, simply drag and drop those elements that we just downloaded from Pexels. And let's choose a background color here from our sample ones for more provides. We'll pick gradient four, a blue color there. And let's just extend it out a bit and pick a random track there. And as you can see, the border does show on the left and right. It's not a 16 by nine image, but simply right click here and crop to fit to get rid of that blue shining through. There we go. All right, so now let's go to effect, come down to utility and the border here gives the illusion of a picture frame. So now let's just resize that down a bit here and center it with the guidelines that Filmora have. There we go, perfect. And let's just play that back real quick. And there you go, the simplest way to give off an effect of a photo frame. Now let's go ahead and add some movement by double clicking, going to the preset animations and we'll use that zoom in there and this is what it looks like there. So perfect way to add some movement. Stop, let's go ahead and get rid of those tracks there and let's bring down this video file that we downloaded, the firework. We're gonna demonstrate here that you can do the same thing but if you wanna jazz it up with the video background, then go ahead and do so. Like I said, the sky's the limit with your creativity, but let's go ahead and bring down another image here. Let's drag it out just a bit. Crop to fit that, as well as each of these other ones that we're dragging down. Leaving a little bit of space between each track that's created automatically by Filmora. Let's bring down a few more of these images here. And let's see, that should be enough. Similar to the lives, let's go ahead and drag this border element down on top of each. And there we go. And let's readjust each. Center this first one here. And just to make sure for this next effect that we're going to show, we're going to click on each one individually, resize it, and drag it on top of the first and match it up underneath so that it's the same size. All right, we got one more to go and we'll do the same with it. Once we're done here, you'll see the reason why we're doing this. All right, there we go, that's the third one there. All right, now let's just rotate these top two images there so that once we give the movement of these photos coming in, it looks like they're stacked on top of each other. So let's just go ahead and slide that one up, bring this one from the left to right, and of course the first one, we'll slide that one on up as well. And let's go ahead and bring our playhead back to the beginning and preview that. All right, there you go. Now, if you want this to be slowed down a bit between each of the photos, then you can simply adjust how often or how close each of the tracks are to each other. As you can see here, we can go ahead and put a little bit more space between when the first one pops out as well as the second and third. And so we'll demonstrate that. And we'll go ahead and clip off the excess trimmings here manually on each track and just simply hit delete there to do so. And let's go ahead and play this back one more time. As you can see, they're a little more subtle now that you give it a little bit more time to bring in the photos, but play around with that and make the decision for what's best for you as a creator. 
Although we use the simple frame with the white border in the examples we saw today, that border color could have been changed like so many other aspects within Filmora. Here you see different frames and overlays that are possible for free within Filmora. Add text or audio to your heart's content to jazz up your creation a bit. Or maybe like you see here a collage that has movement with it to take it up to the next level. But I want to thank each and every one of you again for rocking in here with me today. Feel free to drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. But until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and peace.